Yeah, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to ascertain the location of one of my buddies named John Delano. Uh, hold on, just... Yeah, I want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but I was hoping to learn the location of my friend John Delano. I believe he was picked up by some of your colleagues this morning about 10.30 a.m. It's D E L A. Can you tell me what he's being, uh, what allegations are made against him? There was a warrant for intimidation and harassment. Do you know what person that he allegedly harassed and intimidated, does it claims? No, I do not know. You have to call the county PD. You have to ask them. Okay, and is it correct that he has a $1,000 ransom right now? All right, well, appreciate your time. He's a good guy, and I don't think he should be there, so if you get a chance to talk to him, I encourage you to do so. All right. Take care. Yeah, I, was, I just want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records, but is this the outfit that goes out and uh, picks people up for warrants? I'm wondering if, if this is the... I had a friend today who was picked up at around 10.30 this morning by some uh, Lake County Sheriff's employees, and I was wondering if this was the outfit that they worked at. I was. I know one of the employees' names is the last name is Harvey. I was curious to find out who he's claimed to have uh, intimidated and harassed somebody, and I'm trying to understand who that claim is made. You know who he supposedly did that towards. Oh, wow. I'll try to see that booking. You can see if this person's incarcerated. Okay. They are. I just got off the phone with booking, and they encouraged me to call uh, the police. And uh, I just figured since y'all do warrants, you would have some information. Uh, I do not, not offhand. It was just a few minutes ago. And what did Booking Officer tell you? He told me that my friend was there, that he had two threats levied at him, harassment and intimidation, that he's not sure if he might be arraigned tomorrow, and he, he did not know, like, who allegedly, who said that he had, um, you know, been guilty of those things. So that's, again, essentially what I'm trying to ascertain. E exactly. We wouldn't have that information here, sir. G so you guys just, just call the court. Okay, so you were someone was just given a warrant that a piece of paper that said go snatch this guy up, and you weren't sure what it was for. I'm sorry. I said so someone someone was given a piece of paper that said go and go and snatch this guy up, but there was no reason known why. It was just, I mean, no. No expanded upon text is what I'm saying. No what? I'm sorry. No expanded upon text, like no justification for the claims made. You know, it said it said that he. It said that he did. Uh, you know, he was to be picked up for harassment and intimidation, and I'm just trying to make clear. I'm just asking. To make clear, does that, does that mean that some of your colleagues were then just given a piece of paper? That said, go snatch this guy up because he's harassed and intimidated, but there was no other info that they acted on. What's the gentleman's last name? Okay, I'm saying he had a warrant issue for him for intimidation and harassment, yes. But no, we don't know who would be that would have been with in regards to him. He does have a thousand dollar bond on this warrant. Okay. From your uh Previous experiences, have you ever seen those kind of claims, harassment and intimidation, uh, be applied, uh, being coming from somebody like one of your colleagues or somebody employed as a police officer? I couldn't tell you, sir. I, I don't know who this came from. You okay. have, have to wait until he goes before court or pay the bond for him. Okay. And he would have to go to court and be able to find out who had made the claims against him. All right. All right. Well, to me, it just seems odd. There's a guy sitting in a cage, and he doesn't know who who the claimed victim is. But uh, I guess that's why I'm, I'm calling out a concern for him. But I appreciate your time. Okay. All right. Take care.